Good afternoon dear students dear student as you all are familiar that we are going through with our second chapter that basic concept of economics in this chapter we studied it so many economic term which is important from economics point of view as a subject matter of economics dear student our today's topic is price you all are familiar with this particular concept of price okay now the question is what is the definition of price or what is price the price of a commodity is the unit or amount of money that has to be given to get this commodity okay so so for purchasing or for buying a commodity whatever amount you pay for that particular commodity it simply represents the price of a commodity okay dear student now price if you talk about how the uh, price of a commodity is decided then simply then the simple answer is that price of a commodity is determined by the market forces okay market forces means the demand and the supply forces suppose you wish to buy a pen now the price of a pen is rupees 10 now this 10 rupees is decided by the market forces that how much quantity of this pen is produced by a producer and how much quantity of this pen is demanding in the market so because of these forces because of interaction in these forces the price of the pen is determined now you can see with this help of a diagram you have the demand force and you have the supply force and where they intersect this is point of equilibrium so this particular equilibrium point is the only point which decide the price of a commodity okay dear students so this is known as market forces there is student every good and services which is useful okay they must have certain prices and without usefulness uh, there is no price for that particular commodity and like for from a consumer point of view you will never purchase any commodity which is not forceful for you or which is not fruitful for you okay so you only purchase that commodity which satisfy your need okay or which is useful for you so that's why that's why the price of a commodity is always allotted as per its usefulness okay as per its usefulness okay now the next thing is because of resources we all know that resources are scarce okay and the less of a commodity the less of the resources of a commodity is available in the market or in the nature then high is the demand high is the demand of price price of that particular commodity for example if you talk about diamond diamond is very rare okay which is found in our uh, in our planet earth okay so that's why the price of diamond is too high if you talk about uranium platinum okay platinum these type of the good these type of chemicals or compound or are very unique okay they are they are present in very less quantity in our planet earth so that's why their price is too high so it's depend upon the availability or the usefulness of the product now next is goods like air which are the gift of nature like air water soil okay so goods like air which are the gift of nature are known as free goods and they do not have a price okay there is no price for such type of goods like air water uh, soil okay there is no price for such goods okay dear student so this is the simple meaning of price dear student good and services are available at a price because it involves some cost of production uh, production these goods and services with the use of scarce resources as i told you consumer have to pay some price if they want to acquire food clothes etc okay so consumer buy goods and services all these prices and producer will be willing to sell goods only if they get an appropriate price okay dear student similarly the services of various factor of production have some price product producers may producer buy their uh, factor services at some prices for example if the producer want to buy labor service okay if you want to buy a labor service they are required to pay some price in the form of wages thus a whole set of price prevailing in an economy where millions of goods and services and hundred of uh, factor services are sold and purchased okay dear student so by for services okay we also have to pay certain thing which is also known as a, which is also a type of price suppose if a producer wish to hire a labor okay then the wages 
he pay for the labor is a type of price which is paying for a service okay okay dear student so this is all about the price our next concept is inflation dear student what is inflation okay this is one of the uh, famous term you heard about in your day to day life or you you heard about in the news in the newspaper okay dear student inflation simply means the general rise in prices okay it is it is the common definition which means inflation means rise in price okay if you talk about in economics then inflation is generally defined as the process of persistent and appreciable rise in the general price level okay now when the price of a commodity start increasing when the purchasing power of people start increases increasing it is simply known as inflation in this case your aggregate demand is increasing than aggregate supply now this aggregate demand means demand of the whole economy okay in simple word and this aggregate supply is the demand of the whole economy uh, supply of the whole economy so that's why when aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply it means you have more demanded okay it means you have more demand and the goods which is available which to which is satisfy your demand is less so for you have the demand of 100 shirt but there is only 80 shirts available in the market so this is the situation of inflation okay in this situation the prices of a commodity has increases okay and similarly because of unavailability of the stock and similarly the purchasing power of people is also increases this is known as inflation now dear student always keep in mind that inflation in inflation the most affected area, people are the poor and the middle class families okay because they have less purchasing power at that time they have less availability of goods but the price rate increases day by day so that's why it's very impossible for them to sustain in the economy okay to maintain his daily work okay dear student now inflation refers to a process of rising prices and not a state of high prices okay it is a process of rising prices next inflation refers to a situation of appreciate or considerable rise in price okay a, more, a moderate rise in the price level between uh, say between 1 or 2% per annum is not considered as an inflationary rise it is only when the price rise become excessively and unhealthy okay there it is regarded as inflation in characteristics that's why a rise in price should be prolonged okay it should be prolonged in order to be called an inflationary price rise or inflation does not refers to a one time rise in the price level but rather to persistent rises in the price level okay it is generally not for the price level of one time now like suppose the onion price increases in 2 3 days and after next 4 5 days it price decreases okay then this is not the inflation inflation means when price of certain commodity increases and it it start increasing from day by day okay then then we can say that okay, there is certain inflation in the economy okay dear student in inflation the purchasing power of an individual increases because he have more money that's why its purchasing power increases that's why he demand more of the commodity okay dear student and because of availability of less commodity the price start increasing so this is the basic uh, concept of inflation okay student now there are two type of inflation we have one is demand pull inflation and another is cost push inflation dear student economists have traditionally explained inflation in terms of forces operating from the demand and supply sides accordingly we often talk about demand pull inflation and cost push inflation okay dear student if you talk about the demand pull inflation then inflation originating from the demand forces is called demand pull inflation just because of increasing in the demand of the commodity and availability of less or the less of this uh, commodity or the supply is less of a commodity then this is known as demand pull inflation in this case your aggregate demand dear student your aggregate demand is rises or is greater than aggregate supply this type of inflation is known as demand pull inflation okay dear student next is your cost push inflation dear student inflation can be caused by forces operating from the supply side as well 
okay the demand push inflation is the demand side and this is cost push inflation is the supply side now how cost put push inflation refers to the inflation rises in price which arises due to increase in cost okay because of increase in cost of a commodity because of increase in factor of production of a commodity when cost increases of certain commodity in the market this is known as cost push inflation or it is also known as supply side inflation okay dear student now cost push inflation may be caused by increase in wages cost or increase in the profit margin now suppose the wage cost increases profit margin increases okay for instance if you see the example for example if money wage increases and cost per unit will increases okay suppose you produce a pen now the cost of per unit of the pen is rupees 10 suppose this price this cost increases by rupees 10 also now the price of the pen is rupees 20 now again then price increases by 5 which is 25 then again by 10 then it is 35 so when this type of thing happen in the economy this is known as cost push type of inflation because of increase in the wage cost or because of increase in the profit margin so by money wage increases cost per unit will increase as a consequence is producer raises their price to cover the high cost to cover the that high cost which which is incurred by the producer he start increasing the price of the product okay so sometime producer may Uh, raise the prices of their products so as to earn high profit okay dear student to the motive is to earn high profit so start increasing the price of a commodity because of this inflation occurs in the economy which is known as cost put push inflation so in recent time there has been inflation because of a sharp jump in price of petroleum product okay you can recently see that because of increase in price of petroleum product because they are charging because the gulf countries are charging more price for its uh, product of its petroleum product because they want to earn more profit so because of this this is uh, because of this the supply of a commodity increases in a high prices this is known as cost push inflation okay dear student now in the context of india india has been facing the problem of inflation for quite some time now the country is experiencing both demand pull or cost push inflation okay prices has been increased sharply partially because there is a large increase in demand for a number of product at the same time price of a large of large of the product at the same time price of the large number of commodities have been increasing because of increase in wage and profit margin of the producer so increase in oil prices has also lead to increase in price of almost all the product okay dear student so this is the example in the indian context so that's it for today student in our next session we will study about value and market thank you student stay safe stay healthy